The first robot I have my students build is this walking insect robot. I didn't design it myself. I bought the instructions from a guy on Teachers Pay Teachers for five bucks. So if you want the instructions, you should be able to find it there. But any simple build robot with a color sensor will work for this assignment. Really, the important thing with this build is the color sensor because I teach the kids how to control their robot using the color sensor. This also introduces the kids to the concept of stacks and scratch coding. Under the When Program Starts event, they will place their movement motors and movement speed. Then they will be asked to create four new stacks using the When Color Is event. I show them how to build this little wand with four colors on it, and then I ask them to change the colors in each event to match one of the colors on the wand. Under each color, they will place a different movement command, one to move forward, one to stop, one to turn left, and one to turn right. This gives them a chance to see how to control their turns by using the slider, and I suggest they slide the turns all the way to 100 and minus 100. A happy accident occurred as I had the kids do this project. When I created the program, I didn't actually have the yellow blocks in the kit I was using, so I left them out. However, when the kids built their program, about half the groups added a yellow block in the middle of their wand and added a move backwards command on their own, and I was very happy when I saw this. Once the kids have the bug built and the program written, a lot of them took the chance to add some personal touches to their bugs. Again, I didn't tell them to do it or even suggest it. It just started happening. And once one kid did it and they found out it was okay, they all started adding their own personal touches. This has really turned out to be a great first build for the kids. It's a pretty easy build and a simple program to understand. As the semester goes and the kids are building different things, I often see them adding a color sensor and creating different stacks to control their robot because it's so easy for them to do. This has proven to be a great starting point for me.